Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Best Mountain Farm. And the farm tours are already pretty much done for today. And, uh, or the morning. And uh, I was doing something I know I'm not supposed to do. Well, I try not to. Um, for any of you that are DIY oriented and artistically inclined, I'm sure you know that Etsy and Pinterest are not good things to get on. <laughs> because I always get ideas but um, ideas that usually take a lot of time and, and money but I did see something with it being the holiday season uh, that I'm going to show you guys how to build and even if you don't have big massive amounts of wood like I do you can still buy everything at a local art store or probably find somebody that might have what you need so I've been scouting out the pieces of wood I want to use and now we're gonna get started and I'm not really gonna show you until I get going on it and I'll show you my idea as we go along and then I'm gonna make some decorations for here but there's also the small country store uh, that's just up the road that some good friends I think distant cousins own um, <clears throat> And so I was like, well, I can make these and make a little extra money if I get them done here in time before Christmas. And that's kind of what you got to do when you got a small farm like this. You got to figure out what resources you have and use all of them as much as you can and not let anything go to waste. So now that I've talked for too long, I'll show you guys what we're going to do. There we go. Now, obviously it's just sitting there, but as soon as I get some eyeballs and a coat, 
and I drill and dowel everything together and glue it, I think we'll have a pretty cool little snowman. I'm gonna have to play with some of the wood, uh, this poplar. That pretty piece in particular has a pretty dark spot. So might cut some other discs that's maybe a little bit wider uh, without as much character, but I don't know. I think once I clean it up, hit it real light with the sander, I think it'll be pretty cool. We're gonna find out. All right, everybody, we're gonna continue on our snowman. And talking to Yaya, and she said that we needed one more. We needed to make him three pieces of his body, more like a traditional snowman. So we're gonna go cut another bigger bottom part for him. Uh, and then we're gonna get to work, uh, get him cleaned up and ready to go. What Yaya doesn't know yet is it's cold and rainy and I don't feel like being outside. So I'm gonna make a mess. I'm gonna do all my sanding and everything up here because I don't really feel like being cold and wet. First, we're gonna go outside, get a chainsaw and cut one more piece. And I think Copper wants to go outside for a minute. Come on, Copper. All right, so I just gotta go up here and kind of eyeball the size, I forgot to bring one. The size of Frosty, and we just need one just a little bit bigger uh, for the bottom than we used on the top. And I don't think we'll have any trouble finding one. bottom snowball for Frosty. Let's go get it put together. Building a snowman? Yes, yeah, yeah, I said that looked better, so now I'm gonna you make a mess. Have, you gotta have three circles, right? Now I'm gonna make a mess in here and sand and drill and I'll bring it back. all that stuff, so. Okay, so I think we got most everything we need. We got some little tacks, some felt discs, sandpaper, our saws, drill, dowel rod, and now we're gonna get to work.
for now. where the bark started coming loose. This would be a lot easier with a much fresher tree instead of a log that had been cut for a while because the bark would still be attached a lot tighter. But I've got a secret weapon right there for that. So while the hot glue gun warms up, I'm gonna go get something else that I want to use to make this uh, just a little bit more interesting.
just a slightly to the side, I think, make it. Should leave it tilted. Tilt it down that way. There you go. I'm not sure there's anything you can't do with all of I'm not sure of its holding power though once it gets cold. As long as it, it'll be far from it. Well, yeah. Okay. I'll get some little tacks and tack it in. Yeah. That's why I just got it. Very cute. Look at that. I don't know about the arms though. Well, it doesn't that. have. He kind of looks good like that. Yeah. Maybe he's cold and his arms <laughs> are under his coat. <laughs> If you do arms, I'd only do them like about that long, right there. Yeah, I think you can just go for his arms around his coat. Okay. Well, let's uh, take him outside and put him upstairs. Oh, I thought you were going to take him to press off? Oh, well, I'll make another one. This one's just one for him. Oh, I want to make one cute. for here. Very cute. If I can't put them in here, copper will eat them. Copper will eat them. Somebody stole my pillow. Look at this. I've got a pillow laying in here before. Copper, copper. you can't have my pillow. Copper, no. There's Nala. Copper, you're, you're vanished inside. What's up, bud? All the chicken food, goose food, duck food. Very cute. All right. Well, there we go. DIY 30 minute snowman. Actually, I think total I've got maybe 40 minutes, but not much time. I said something anybody can do. Pretty much showed you how to do it. All you got to do is just you can buy the disc. It doesn't have to be this big. You can buy the wood disc at the arts and craft stores or just find somebody that has some. You can probably find someone that has the discs and those are the little felt soft sliders from uh, Lowe's or Home Depot for putting underneath the furniture, some ribbon, hot glue, dowels. And really you could just screw from the backside and use little screws. I just did the dowels because make it a little bit longer. And I didn't, I didn't um, put on camera. I thought the camera was on where I put the wood glue on the dowels and then set everything down. So once the uh, once the wood glue dries on our dowels that are in there, you know, it's gonna be really, really strong. Not gonna come apart. Um, put some polyurethane or something on if you wanted, but for a Christmas decoration, unless you plan on leaving them outside all year round, you're not gonna have any problems. So there's the farmhouse frosty all right everybody well there you have it and i moved our snow person over a little bit and uh greet people as they come in so thanks for watching make sure to like subscribe and share and we've got a few more holiday diy arts and crafts types projects coming up so Hit that like button, subscribe, and thank you for watching.